All right, this is Friday, the second blog, video blog, and uh, we're going to address the subject of being lazy, because it's not a conversation about this. People say to me, I'm just too lazy. First of all, quit fucking telling yourself you're lazy, because you're not fucking lazy. You're not lazy. I have not met a lazy human being. What I've met is individuals that are not motivated, because they don't have the right motivation, okay? They're, they are comfortably uncomfortable. Get that again. You are comfortably uncomfortable exactly where you are. You're not not motivated. The same motherfucker who's not motivated to fucking go get a job can stay up till 4.30 fucking a.m. having a good time with people. Won't miss a fucking beat. That's a lot of motivation to do shit like that. You see how big my eyes got? Whoa. <laughs> it's a lot of motivation. So you, you're, you're, not, <clears throat> you're not not motivated. Uh, I'm sorry. You're not lazy. You're just not motivated. You don't have the right reasons you don't have the right conviction inside to to drive you you don't have the right reasons to get out of bed you don't have the right reasons to go work out you don't have the right reasons to go get a job you don't have the right reasons to quit any kind of drugs that you want to quit you don't have the right reasons to go out and meet somebody new your reasons are too weak your reasons are tiny they're like this little um altoid breath mint your reasons are too small you need to have bigger reasons why you need to do shit okay and let, let, let's put it like this okay if you want to do something you're going to do it remember that when I had a video blog about this people are going to do whatever they want to do if you want to do something you're going to do it so the first thing you need to do is be honest with yourself you got to be honest with yourself because you're lying to yourself. You can lie to everybody else, right? You know what it's like? It's like the gradual drug um, rehabilitation or I'm not going to call it rehabilitation. The, the guy or the girl tries to quit drugs over a long period of time. That shit never works. If when you quit, you quit. Something bad enough happens and you feel the pain and you don't want that shit anymore, you quit. Anybody I know that's quit very heavy drugs has quit in, a, in an instant. It's literally a decision. Doesn't mean they don't go through the withdrawals and shit, but they just, they quit. And anybody I know who's tried to quit over a long time, they've never quit. You understand? So, any decision that you make, anything that you do is done in a moment. And if you're not making the decision to do it, then you don't have enough reasons to do it. Your reasons are too weak. You understand? You're, you're not convinced that you need to make a change. This is part of the reason why I like to talk to people who've been through a lot of uh, emotional pain in their life. Because they've been through it. Normally they want a change in their life. And people that are just comfortably going through life, comfortably, I mean, I don't know how the fuck you're going to be comfortable living in this current condition of the world, but who pretend to be comfortably going through the world, they don't want to change. And you know what? I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to talk to them. All these comfortable little relationships that you see, your friends, right? They've been together three, four years. They're just comfortably uncomfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, well, don't go check your fucking boyfriend's emails or computer or phone because then you're going to recognize how fucking uncomfortable you're about to be. And same thing with your chick, dude. Same thing with your chick. So I'm looking for people who are just sick of their condition they want to make a change because that's when shit happens but you can't say oh i'm just lazy you're not fucking lazy you're not fucking lazy the same lazy person has enough motivation to do something else completely do something you understand so the first thing you do is to be honest with yourself look in the mirror and say i'm exactly where i need to be because i choose to be here simple you know if i wanted like for example if you want a job and you're applying, like, you're not really trying to get a job. You're not really doing it, okay? You're just pretending. You're pretending that you want a fucking job. And you got to be honest with yourself. What I'm saying is, like, you have to really look at it. This is some soul-searching shit for yourself, okay? But if you want to be successful in any area, then you got to get rid of the idea that you're lazy. You're not lazy. You're not lazy. You just don't have the right reasons to do it. So you got to find the right reasons, you see? You have to find the right reasons to do it. If the reasons are there and the reasons are strong enough, you'll overcome anything. Okay? This is where, like, the idea of a purpose is. What's your purpose? Like, if I said, what's your purpose for wanting to um, make more money? 
If your purpose is small, if your reason is small, good luck. Good luck. If your purpose is huge, if you have a big reason to do it, then yes, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do everything that you set out to do. And this is how I want you to think. You're going to do everything that you set out to do. But you have to look and go, where, where am I? And what is my true motivation? Like the people that work at IMC, this is something that I just go over with them all the time, man. Even my jiu-jitsu students. I say you got to find your true motivation. That personal, personal motivation. That's just your truth your own path so ask yourself whatever your goals are that you're not achieving right if you're there's goals you're not achieving you, it's not it's not a strong enough reason driving the engine like your motivation your reason your purpose that's like the engine behind that's the driving force you understand that's the driving force it's the driving force behind these blogs right i have a very very personal reason to do these things it's outside of everybody and everything. And I'm not getting paid a penny to do these. Not a goddamn penny to do these. But my purpose and my reason is much bigger. So it just keeps going. You understand? So let's get rid of the idea that you're lazy. And on the other side of things, don't buy other people's reasons. Oh, I'm just lazy. I don't feel like it. The same person. You ever talk to somebody? Oh, I don't feel like going out. And then an hour later, they're out. <laughs> they just didn't want to go out with you or they didn't want to do what you were going to do the motivation was not strong enough if you want to influence people if you want to have the power to influence them you have to understand what I'm saying you have to get down to the core of their motivation you have to get down to the core of their soul why they do what they do it's not the reasons that they're giving you in the beginning. It's not those socially acceptable reasons. You see, it's something deep inside you. I want you to look deep inside you and ask yourself, why are these goals so important to you? Find it. It's going to be very personal to you. You might even be embarrassed about saying what the goal is. But it doesn't matter because what you're doing is you're finding your fuel you're finding the fuel that motivates you. Now, that fuel could be two legs on a tricycle or it could be jet fuel shooting you to Mars. See? Depending on your purpose, depending on how much you've done in regards to your own soul searching, that right there is going to determine how much fuel you have. Is it two legs pedaling or is it a fuel that can take a rocket ship to Mars and beyond? This is part of your daily activity. When you go to sleep, when you wake up. These are two of the most important moments of your life. <laughs> when you go to sleep, decide how your dream time should be. Like, don't just, don't just relinquish like, I don't know what's going to, I'm just going to go to sleep and go unconscious. Dude, no. No. Tell your mind. Tell your subconscious mind. These are my questions I want answered. This is how I want to feel when I sleep. And then go to sleep with that command. It doesn't mean every night you're going to get results. But you know what? I really believe you do get results every night. Just you don't remember it. Ultimately, it's your mind. So it better fucking listen to you. If I told my hand to open and close, it's going to open and fucking close. It takes practice. You know, a little baby can't do what I'm doing on command. It needs to practice. Same thing in your mind. Your mind may be in its infancy stages because all your life you've never, ever really applied it. Everybody else has shown you that you're, you're not capable of it and they've been brainwashing you and controlling you. And now you're starting to take some control over it and that's why you feel alive when you listen to me because I just give back control to the person. I'm just telling you you're strong enough, okay? Simple. Look at my fucking nails. I trained one day in jiu-jitsu. Look what happens. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, dude. Tomorrow I start the Empowering Women Lectures, first lecture, so got to get my nails did, got to get my hair did, trim, look good, <laughs> I'm going to blow them away tomorrow. Okay, so listen, find the motivation, stop calling yourself lazy, you're not lazy, you just don't want to, just say I don't want to. It's harder to just take responsibility, like I don't want to do that, I don't want to get a job right now. I'm comfortable being broke. 
and go, oh, I'm not comfortable being broke. Yes, you are. Otherwise, you wouldn't be broke. Fat people are comfortable being fat. They're more comfortable being fat than they are getting in the gym, watching what they eat. Thus, they're fat, and they don't watch what they eat. So while we're all in the condition that we, we are because we choose to be. It's just that because we lie to ourselves, then we let other people lie to us. I mean, God forbid somebody works for me and they try to come up with some fucking excuse. They know. I mean, the first, like, month or two, they first start working for me. <laughs> it's funny because they'll, they'll give some kind of excuse and then the rest of the crew will just look at them like, you idiot. You idiot. Did you just say that? Did you just try to give a rush a fucking excuse why you couldn't get shit done? The secret to not being lazy is to recognize there is no such thing as laziness. That's a made-up word, okay? Laziness is just a process that happens in your mind that says this. It's not worth it. I'd rather do what I'm doing than that other thing. That's what laziness means, okay? So when you break that down, then you have control over it. Because you, you flip the process and you go, okay, if I want to do, let's say, project A, then I need to come up with more reasons to do it than not do it. And I need to really make it emotionally impacting to me. Your emotions have to be involved. Okay, you, you have to learn to use your emotions to move your, your body forward. You use your mind to create the emotions. And then you move forward with the emotion if you want to sometimes. You know, like, okay, I'm not saying be the emotional fucking guy or that be the emotional girl. I'm saying, like, an emotion of inspiration, if, that, if that's an emotion. Anger can move you forward. If you get angry, you're like, fuck this, never again. I'm never going to be in this situation. Then you go find an answer. Right? So, let's see what we got here. So, ask yourself how important is your goal to you or the goals to you? And then, when you catch yourself lacking motivation and shit, just own it. Own it. Just be like, you know what? I don't want to do it. It's just, it's hard to tell people I don't want to do it. So we come up with excuses, and then we buy our own excuses, right? We can't, we can't, we can't buy your own excuses, man. You gotta be so honest with yourself. You gotta be so honest with yourself, and then you're gonna become more powerful. You could be a man, a woman watching this. You could be a bird, a tree, a dog watching this shit. You gotta be honest with yourself, man. You gotta say, you know, I, I don't feel like doing it. Simple. I don't have the right motivation to do it. Make sense? You're not lazy. Laziness is a process. Learn the process. Flip it. Wow. You like that shit? Wow, Rosh. That was really amazing. Wow. How do you know this shit? Wow. <laughs> okay? Don't buy laziness. Don't even get into it. Don't say hey, I'm lazy. Don't, don't do it. You're not lazy. You are capable of much more than you could fucking imagine. You are capable of so much more. You know, when your life is about to be over at some point, if you get the opportunity to check it out before, it's, before you're done, you don't want to look back and be like, I was, I could have done so much more. I could have enjoyed so much more. I could have, um, could have done something. You know what I mean? Like that regret is just not okay, dude. It's just not okay. So if you got shit holding you back, which is not anything holding you back, it's just you, right? It's just you. Like I know the only thing holding me back from everything I want is just me. It's just not, there's no other, there's, I, I do not acknowledge anything outside of myself as capable of holding me back. Good luck, try it. I know that, okay? So you don't want to be in that position where you're just fucking looking back on your life and going, what the fuck, man? I just wasted all those fucking years, right? We'll leave that as a subject for another video. It's a good subject to talk about. So, yes, you're capable of doing whatever the fuck you want to do, and you're not lazy, and stop telling yourself that shit, okay? I'll see you in the next video blog.